Do you think your home is starting to look a little outdated? I guess we'll find out today and don't feel bad because a lot of these items I, I pulled directly from my own house, okay? But we are gonna start with the least outdated things. So the first few I don't think are that bad. You can comment below as we go along and then we're gonna work our way up to just the worst things. Like things that if you still have in your home, it might be time to make a change. And as always, who the heck cares what I have to say? So if you love something, you keep it. Number one, just look around anywhere in my house and you'll be able to figure out what it is. Gray walls. Yes, when a trend blows up overnight, like gray walls did, it just like fashion, it has a tendency to start to go out of style fairly quickly. So when I first moved into this house, almost three years, no, it was like more than three years ago, we immediately painted the entire house Sherwin-Williams repose gray. So I still to this day, I do get a lot of questions about what color my walls are. So there you go. I do think it's the perfect color. It's like a mix between gray and beige. So it's a good grayish color. However, I do think that, you know, as people are building newer homes, they're not really picking this color anymore. They're going for more of just like white. Uh, a lot of people are doing wallpaper now, which I mean, I, I like it, I'm, I'm drawn to it, but I mean, there's, there's kind of a scary history there too. Number two, chalkboard walls. Yes, this is another trend that is, I, I just have mixed feelings about. Uh, I think that it can be okay, especially if you're like a homeschool mom, you know, it makes total sense to paint the walls with this chalkboard paint. I think it's very functional, it's cool, but I do see it in a lot of kitchens. Sometimes people do it in playrooms and, and, I, and I like the idea of it. However, I think, in reality, it's often extremely messy. I don't think people really keep up with it. I think it's it's just messy looking. Again, these first few, honestly, throughout the whole video, I really wanna know your opinions. So put down below in the comment section your thoughts about gray walls, about chalkboard paint. Let me know about number three, which is mass-produced canvas art. Like this one, see? It's like a big canvas art piece like this. That was from Ross, it was only $12.99. I feel like these are just everywhere. They've been everywhere for years and I like the idea. I mean, you don't have to have a frame. It kind of wraps around the edges, but I do think they look cheap and they are cheap. Hence the $12.99 from Ross, just for less. I still have this in my home. Uh, let me know, what, what are your thoughts? Do you like, I mean, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. We went to Paris once, it was it was lovely. The city of love, although I saw a lot of people peeing in the streets, so that was kind of weird. Yeah, I think I need to maybe figure out a different situation. Also, this is gonna seem so freaking sponsored. I promise this entire video is not sponsored, but I'm like fixing myself here and I wanted to just point out because I'm wearing the Shea earrings from Miranda Fry. I mentioned this in a video like a few, like a month ago and it was completely sold out and so many of you wanted them. So I just want to let you know they are back in stock. I'll put a little video here of what they look like up close because the gems are like on the inside and the outside of the earrings. They're like the perfect size. So they are back in stock. Shea will give you 10% uh, off and free shipping. And then they did just re release their fall collection. I love this cross necklace and this chain necklace. So anyway, I'll link them below. Again, not sponsored. I just wanted to give you a little update. Next we have, drum roll please, sleigh beds. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yes, yeah, so if you still have a sleigh bed, unfortunately, I do think it's starting to date your home, which which is unfortunate because those sleigh beds were darn expensive. I mean, they were like solid wood, like sturdy, solid, mahogany, dark brown. Like, I, yeah, if you still have it and you love it, I mean, just keep it. But, but I do think that if you have it and you walk into your room and you feel like it's kind of being weighed down and you feel like, you know, you just need a, like a refresher, I think getting an updated bed frame would be a good place to start. Moving right along, we have small or skinny baseboards next. If you have trim, I mean, it's, it's good to have trim. I feel like it just kind of adds a little extra to your home. A lot of people don't even have trim, but if you do have trim that's really, really skinny, I do think that it's gonna make your home look a little older than it may be. Whereas if you have thicker trim around the baseboards, up around the door frames, that kind of thing, it's just gonna make your home look more expensive and look newer. Uh, so in my home, I have like this weird mix down, the, the baseboards are, are pretty thick, which I like, but then up around the door frames, they become skinny. So I kind of have a mix of both. If you are enjoying this video and you made it this far and you're not too offended, take two seconds and subscribe down below. All right guys, we're starting to get into the not so good ones. Next we have heavy drapes. And what I mean by that are just like the very heavy, customized, extremely expensive drapes 
that people probably paid thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for. And, and, and they're just absolutely dating the home. Um, and what's interesting is I have, I have this like weird habit. I love looking at houses on Zillow. The, I, I, like I'll, I'll go crazy and just like look at houses I would never ever buy. And some of these really, really expensive homes have insane customized heavy drapes that they're, they're trying to sell the house. And I swear if they would just get rid of these ugly expensive drapes, they would sell their house faster. Next, we have something that is fairly common in a lot of homes. So I'm sorry if you have this, but it is the orange oak staircases and railings. Uh, and, and I honestly don't think it's that bad. I really don't, although it's definitely outdated. I mean, you can find so many DIY projects on YouTube, on HGTV of like ways to update the staircases to make it look more up to date and better. For some reason, my opinion about this is when it comes to wood, it's just so cyclical. Like wood tones just come in and come out so fast. So I feel like by the time you do all this crazy work to update the staircase and the railings, it's so much work. It's just gonna be out of style before you even know it. So um, I'm just like, if, if I personally had that in my house, would I update? If I had all the time on my hands and I loved DIY projects, maybe I would do this, but I am not that person. So I might just leave it in my house. Ceiling fans. <laughs> are next. And man, I have a love hate relationship with ceiling fans because they're just so ugly, yet they serve such a good purpose. They're functional, they airflow, like they're nice to have, you know what I mean? But again, they're weird looking. They hang from the ceiling. I don't like them. I have the worst one in my basement. Let me just show you. So hideous, can't believe I still have it. I win for the ugliest ceiling fan. However, great for filming purposes. All of those lights jutting out in different directions, great for filming. Uh, but upstairs in my bedroom, we have a more up to date style and I think this this is better, but I don't know. I still think it's kind of ugly. So comment down below. What are your true thoughts on ceiling fans? This is a polarizing topic, guys. People, you either love them or hate them. This is one of the worst things to have in your home, not only for safety purposes, but again, it's gonna make your home, this one's just gonna make your home look bad, okay? Like outdated and not good. And it's the old plastic skinny blinds. There, I said it. Yeah, if you still have these in your home, I really think you should just pull them down. I think that not only are they just very unattractive, but they're also dangerous. Those long cords, like kids accidentally wrap those around their necks, like they can be dangerous. So uh, again, they're all usually like weird colors. A lot of times they're kind of going, they're bent and going in weird directions. I have some, some windows in my home that don't even have blinds and I think that looks more clean and nice, but a lot of you, I completely understand, want blinds. Budget blinds, it's, it's a company, not sponsored. Re they have no idea I'm saying this, but I really like them. They come and they customize blinds for you. You can pick out so many really stylish things and then their, their quality is great. I feel like this is an ad for them, but it's not. But really, blinds can make a huge impact either good or bad for your home. I'll see you in this video next where I share 25 viral Amazon bestsellers. These items are so good. So I'll see you over there. Bye.